it's a once in a lifetime experience and to know that I could experience it for the third time around, I think that if I can find that complete focus and maintain that for those four fights, 100% I can come away with a gold medal. So you fell in love with fighting straight away? Yes. I was first enrolled when I was eight years old, but when I was three, my sister had already started Taekwondo and she's two years older. I would be at every tournament and every class watching her train and all I wanted to do was be like my sister and train in Taekwondo. Brother and a sister, almost three siblings heading to Rio. I mean, it's quite an extraordinary family. I'm very proud of my siblings. They've been doing Taekwondo their whole lives and for them to stick out the sport through some really tough moments is incredibly inspiring and I'm very blessed to be able to travel with them and compete in the sport at the highest level. I always believed that I could be a world champion and I would be a world champion one day and now I know that I can win gold at Rio and I have that same feeling, that same belief, self-belief, which is so important. I think when I think about Rio, I think I'm really overwhelmed now that it's coming up a bit closer that it could potentially be my last tournament. You, you, you get sad thinking about the end of the career? I think... I think it's more pride. Because, <laughs> yeah, I've been doing it for a really long time and I really love this sport, but um, I think it's time to pass the baton on to the next generation and I'm, I'm really, you know, proud of that because I know I've given absolutely everything. You've dedicated your life to the sport. <laughs> yeah, I have. I really have. Have you dreamt about winning gold in Rio more than once? Yes. What do you see? And I hope this really happens, but I just see myself roaring. I see myself, I, and I imagine the World Championships collapsing on the ground, like knowing that it was done, knowing that, like out of disbelief that I'd actually done it. And now when I picture Rio, and picture winning the gold medal, I just, see myself roaring like a lion, like the, I'm the king of the jungle or queen of the jungle. That's a, a life's work culminating in one beautiful second or two. I know what it's going to take. I know how, how aggressive and how competitive that day is going to be. So I know that I'm going to have to almost like physically become an animal to win that, to make it mine and to come away with that goal.